here today. Three kills, 66% headshot percentage with 118 damage around. It doesn't seem like too good of stats right now, but let's see what he's going to do. He's going to go down here through underpass, it looks like, just kind of creeping up, being followed by a teammate. It's a guy up there on catwalk. He seems to know exactly where he is, maybe he just heard him. Comes out, that looked a little weird with his aim style. Again, looked a little weird. And that looked... Definitely weird. That was straight on the guy. There was... That was... Yeah, he's probably using a wall hack. Okay. And he comes out and taps at that guy's face before he could see him. But he could hear that guy shooting, so I can defend him on that one. Still, though, the guy in connector can't really defend that. He aimed on the guy through the wall and then came out, shot a bullet, just took him out instantly. He's gonna make his way over here towards B. Deep nade takes him down to 51. Good nade by Ostrich. Another nade comes in, but misses. A little spam. He heard the spam, maybe he'll try to spam back. No spam. Okay, he's gonna make his way over towards the van, I think. No, he's falling back. He's gonna chill out here a little bit longer. Okay. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's waiting for this guy to peek, and he peeked, and he goes down instantaneously. Wow. And he takes that guy down instantaneously, too. No reaction to that. I would love to be that good. When you come out here, he knows there's a guy here. Takes a couple shots, doesn't connect with any, and then finishes him off. Nine kills, 88% headshot percentage. As you can see, the guy's aimbot, which I believe it's an aimbot, is not is aiming straight for the head. So when that guy peeked out and he couldn't see his head right there, he took a couple of shots and didn't automatically hit because it was trying to go through the wall. So he's gonna make his way through underpass. There's a guy window with a deagle. Seems to know exactly where he is. He's going to probably uh, his teammate spams at the spot. But his other teammate takes him out with an AWP before that, and he takes a guy out by try box. Smoke. He knows where this guy Ostrich is. He's just gonna chill here for a minute while he waits. And he's gonna move through kitchen now. Checks. He just shoots the guy through the smoke. Okay, I was gonna say he <laughs> checks cat, sees the smoke up, but. No, he, he doesn't give a fuck about that smoke. I love these kind of games, they're so easy to tell. There's not much I have to do, I just can sit back, watch the suspect do his thing, and report him. Hopefully Valve does their thing, and he gets removed from the community. Or at least this account. He'll probably come back with another one. No biggie. Ooh, he actually <laughs> took out the guy at Connector, and the other guy on Catwalk. He knows there's a guy window. He's just gonna... Ooh, he couldn't shoot him through the smoke, because I guess he didn't couldn't line it up. His teammate takes him out, and it leaves one guy, Ostrich. LMS Ostrich. Last man standing. He's gonna hop in here, and yeah, he's taken out by his teammate. He's just kind of on chase mode now. He doesn't not slowing down or anything. He's just taking them out instantaneously. I think that it's like he's like trying out his hacks or maybe he created them himself, but he's definitely testing things out. Different things because he started off a lot more hesitant and now he's just kind of running around and just instantaneously obliterating people. He knows this guy's here and he takes him out with a headshot. So they're in a 3v3 situation, he's going to make his way over towards B, there's a guy in sight. Uh, like she's closer to the kitchen. Just cross the window. The suspect's going to sneak up behind him. Well, he's going to run up behind him. Now he's walking. Flashback. Takes him out. Guy by window. 
the last guy and his teammate takes him out. Scores five to three. He's got 15 kills right now with 86% headshot percentage, 166 damage around. Which when you think about it, 166 damage around isn't really that much for almost having two frags per round. Takes that guy out but pushes him while blind. He's gonna push in the middle, takes that first guy out. You can see the aim toggle right there go from target to target to target. There's no hiding that. Last guy's gonna come from underpass. I think he spots him. He's gonna come down, drop down on top of him. That was a really nice round. <laughs> if I could do that spray control there in middle, I'd definitely be one of the top players in the world. I think, uh, I think Shroud would be jealous. Takes out that guy going through the underpass. He's definitely got screams, one taps, and shroud spray control, so can't beat that. He decides to flash himself and shoot out the window. I guess he was testing to see if flashbangs were off or on. Obviously, they didn't affect him much at all. With all the little things that he's doing, it really feels like he created these or he just bought these and is testing every little thing out on them. Which is interesting because there's no way that he could imagine he's going to get through this and not get banned instantaneously. He's going to plant the bomb. There's a guy coming through kitchen. He's going to be set up for it. Takes him out. There's two guys left. One came up from Cat, the other one's coming up from Cat 2. He knows where they are. He's just gonna hide here in kitchen and wait. He hears footsteps. Flashbang. Takes out one of them. The other one's close to the bomb. He's got native. He's gonna peek out and he starts shooting at his shoulder. So, what do you guys think? Aim assistance, evident. Vision assistance, evident. Other, he didn't really bunny hop or do anything else. He did do the uh, no flash, but it says speed hacking, automated jumping scripts, up down, upside down view. It didn't really have anything like that. Insufficient. Um, minor griefing. Uh, insufficient. Hope you guys enjoyed.